Golf Alpha Alpha Oscar Kilo is part of the Shipping and Airlines Historic Collection, based at the famous wartime airport of Biggin Hill in Kent, England. Built in 1929 as a light sport trainer, she is one of only 26 constructed and originally powered by a right-built de Havilland Gypsy of 110 horsepower. Oscar Kilo was later converted to the larger and heavier 145 horsepower Warner Scarab and so redesignated a 12QW. Like all aircraft, the flight begins with a thorough walk around to check for any defects. Inside the cockpit, the mag switches are checked that they are off. The trim wheel is checked for full available adjustment. Oscar Kilo has a fully moving tailplane rather than a trim tab. The trim is left in the takeoff position, and next, full and free movement of the joystick is applied. The moving surfaces are checked to see if they are moving correctly. The front cockpit is checked for loose objects and the passenger straps are secure. The wing is checked for damage, loose ribs, the flying wires are secure. The struts are firm, the aileron arm is free to move, the pitot head is clear. The brake line is checked for any fluid leak, the tyres for creep and correct inflation. The fuel level is checked visually and the all important hole in the cap is not blocked. If this is blocked it creates a vacuum and stops the fuel flow. From this position a check of the top wings for condition is done. The propeller is checked for damage on leading and trailing edges. The cylinders and cables are secure. The electronic point is closed and a repeat of the checks for the starboard side wheels and wings. At the tail, all the struts and services are checked secure and the tail wheel is inflated. This tail wheel is not fully castling, so careful parking is required because she cannot be pushed backwards. A tow bar is required. Once complete, we are now ready to go flying. The oil tank is topped up and the external power supply is attached. We use this for the first start of the day. The primer is pumped and we are ready to start. Clear. Once running, oil pressure is checked, RPMs normal. Once the trolleyac is clear, we are ready to taxi. I'm sure you have noticed that the view straight ahead is non-existent. So, weaving is required. Oscar Kilo has good brakes and rudder authority, so taxiing is quite easy. Cornering is done at a slower pace. Too sharp an appliance of the brakes can tip the inner wing down very low. With run-ups complete, we backtrack down the runway. The conditions today are quite hot and a variable wind, so runway 11 is selected for takeoff.
final check from Agro, and we are ready. Oscar Kilo will accelerate from 0 to 60 takeoff speed in just over 7 seconds. Once in the climb, we settle between 500 to 800 feet per minute at full RPM. Once at height and leveled, she will cruise at about 95 miles per hour with about three hours safe endurance. Turns are easy, always leading with a touch of rudder. At 1,000 feet, we now rejoin the circuit crosswind at Biggin Hill for landing on runway 21. The wind today is quite variable, 130 to 180, 8 to 12 knots, giving an average crosswind component of about 10 knots. With the downwind checks complete, the power is reduced in stages and trimmed. Flying solo at 1100 RPM, fully trimmed back, will give you an approach speed of 75 miles per hour, with a descent of 500 feet per minute. The rate of the descent is easily controlled by addition or reduction of power. The lack of direct forward visibility means that on a long straight in approach, not only the runway, but most of the airfield is not in view, so a side slip is required. However, with the wind the way it is today, it is much safer to conduct a long, graduated turn from downwind to final. This keeps the runway in sight as much as possible. Control surfaces at 75 miles per hour are still balanced and have full authority. Below this speed, it is only the ailerons that lose some of their energy, and larger control inputs are required. 
Using the engine to control the descent, we are aiming for a speed of 70 miles per hour over the numbers, reducing to 60 in the flare, and touching down at 55. As we approach short final, the windsock is next to the small tower on the right of the runway and is constantly checked throughout the approach. Once safely down, car Peters return to cold and we taxi back to the hangar. On the way we will do a mag drop check to make sure everything is fine. The 1929 Curtis Wright Travel Air Golf Alpha Alpha Oscar Kilo, part of the Shipping and Airlines Historic Collection. <laughs>